such demand, I painted my scales occasionally so no one thought I was strange that one dragon was getting into so many fights. Green is my natural color, but you just should have seen me when I was purple. Very royal. And yellow was fun for a while. I remember well one beautiful lady in distress, made Gwendolyn. I can see her standing before me now as the whole thing happened only yesterday. So, dragon, I need your help. I always promised you a silver and gold cup. I got one right here. Why not? People say he already has a wife and a dependent. Besides, I know another man, Cinder Lee's his name. Please, the dragon, I want you to fight Cinder Lee and defeat him. For a fee, I will be delighted to help you, my lady. Name your price. One hundred gallons of kerosene. As you know, my breath has no fire without kerosene. Agreed. After you defeat Cinder I want you to fight my knight, Cinder Lee, and let them defeat you. If that succeeds, then I marry Cinder Lee. Grimbald is a toad-eating, good-for-nothing, cow-stealing liar. His words set no one, as he knew that. Sir Grimbald is an egg-sucking, chicken-hearted, snaggletooth thief. Once again, no one became angry, so he continued down to the next thing. Sir Grimbald is a flop-eared, yellow-bellied, boat-legged glob of chicken fat. Who dares to insult me? His side, the fire-breathing, death-defying, fearless green dragon. You're an overgrown swamp lizard. With one hand tied down my back, I can reduce you to a pile of greasy green scales. Go back to your cave before I snuff your flame forever. I believe you are afraid to battle a dragon. Tuesday at daybreak in front of the Vine Cozy Castle. I spent the next few days in preparing. I practiced terrible roars, blew smoke screens, and rehearsed my victory speech at least 50 times. All right, I have to get this down. Dudley dies and Grimbald lives. Wait, no, that isn't right. Grimbald lives and Dudley dies. No, that still isn't right. Grimbald dies and Dudley lives. Sir Grimble was an evil being, and people shouted and hissed at him. Sir Grimble shook his fist at them, then mounted his horse. I stood at the other end of the green, hands thumb and dignified, and nodded to the people and blew perfect smoke of green, ring, perfect rings of green smoke. Raised from the cheer, squashed in the room. Hey, I want a fair fight, dragon. No help from the crowd you hear. No cannonballs, no guns, nothing. One, two, three. The group of charge me met in the center with a shrill cry he thrust his lance outside. It bounced off. The scribble challenged me again, so I'm swung the battle at my neck. The weapon broke in two when it struck. Hard scales. Sir so attacked once more, waving a mighty club. <laughs> he aimed the club between my eyes, the flame went from my mouth. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, but there is no need to find another suitor for your daughter. She now belongs 